The Falcons caused a stir last month when they picked Raheem Morris as their new head coach. When you find people who are sharp thinkers, quick decision makers, and just love to play the game, it's electrifying. We've got a lot of talent here, like Kyle Pitts, Drake London, and B.J. Robinson. But let's face it, without a solid quarterback, this team's going nowhere fast. It's time for a change, starting with the quarterback position. Let's talk Falcons for a moment. Sure, they didn't meet expectations this year, but there's hope for the future. With Arthur Smith out of the picture and a new coaching staff I'm really confident in, I think we're in for some surprises. But before I dive into that, don't forget to hit subscribe if you're into Falcons content. Now back to the Falcons. They ended the season 7-10, missing the playoffs in an easy division. Why? Well, it's pretty clear to me. The bottom line is Arthur Smith struggled with using our offensive talent correctly, and without a solid quarterback, the team was stuck. We had hopes for Desmond Ritter. But that didn't pan out, and Taylor Heineke was not the answer. So we entered the offseason with two big goals, a new head coach and a quarterback. This coaching offseason has been impressive, with big names and promising coordinators on the market. Many thought Bill Belichick was a sure pick for the Falcons, but they surprised everyone by choosing Raheem Morris over him. While Belichick is undoubtedly a great coach, being 71 and likely retiring soon didn't fit the Falcons' long-term plan. They're more focused on building a lasting contender than winning immediately. Enter Raheem Morris, the former defensive coordinator for the Los Angeles Rams. Don't be fooled by the Rams' defensive stats. Morris turned a talent-lacking defense into a mediocre one. With our solid defensive roster, the expectations are high. Morris, at just 47, not only brings strategic prowess, but also a culture-building mindset. We're not just getting an excellent X's and O's coach, we're getting someone who can shape this franchise into something fans can be proud of. It's an exciting prospect for the Falcons and their supporters. About Zach Robinson, the Falcons' new offensive coordinator. He might not be making as many headlines as Raheem Morris, but he's an essential part of the equation. Before landing with the Falcons, Robinson worked as the pass game coordinator and quarterbacks coach under Sean McVay in Los Angeles. McVay, a top-tier NFL coach, mentored Robinson for five years. That kind of experience is invaluable. It's a signal that the Falcons are aiming for a more modernized, dynamic offense compared to what we saw under Arthur Smith. Now let's dive into the quarterback situation the main event for many Falcons fans. With the eighth overall pick in the draft, the Falcons have a decent position, but the top-tier quarterbacks like Caleb Williams, Drake May, or Jayon Daniels might be out of reach unless they can swing a trade. Trading up in a draft loaded with talented quarterbacks might be challenging. So here's an alternative. Look to the league for an existing quarterback. Justin Fields from the Chicago Bears could be a prime target. With the Bears likely grabbing Caleb Williams with their first pick, Fields might become available. Many Falcons fans would see this as a great opportunity. Fields has enormous potential, and considering the Bears' situation, you might snag him for a reasonable price, perhaps a second-round pick or a combination of picks. This way, you keep your first-round pick and have more flexibility to build around fields, either with offensive weapons or bolstering the defense under Raheem Morris. I understand this might raise some questions, but it's an intriguing option worth exploring for the Falcons' future. Now, I understand there might be some skepticism about Justin Fields, so let's put things into perspective. Throughout his career, Fields hasn't had the best coaching with Luke G.Z.Y. as his offensive coordinator, a widely acknowledged, not-so-great coach. Additionally, his supporting cast has been subpar until this year, often relying on just one target in D.J. Moore. Combine that with consistently poor offensive lines, and Fields has been running for his life on almost every play. Now imagine Fields behind a competent offensive line. 
especially with someone like Zach Robinson as his offensive coordinator. Robinson's creativity, paired with a roster boasting talents like Justin Fields, B.J. Robinson, Drake London, and Kyle Pitts, is a recipe for success. You not only potentially have the best rushing attack in the NFL, thanks to Fields' running ability, but also the opportunity to craft an innovative passing game to ease Fields into his role as a passer. For a relatively modest price, maybe a second-round pick and a bit more, you could acquire a quarterback with immense potential, finally placing him in a favorable situation. Yes, it's a bit of a risk, but I believe it's the Falcons' best option. If all pieces fall into place, this Falcons team could rapidly ascend to greatness, possibly even becoming contenders sooner than expected. Of course, this is just my perspective, and I'd love to hear what you guys think in the comments. Share your thoughts on Justin Fields, the coaching staff, and the Falcons' current outlook. With that said, I'll catch you all in the next video.